Jenna Limoncelli. I'm Brandon London. All right, let's get into the WAGS Weekly Roundup because it's spicy this week. Jenna Sims and Paulina Kresge looking good partying in Miami before Live Golf Event. Liv was at Live this past weekend, yep. partying at Live Miami for their welcome party before the big tournament where Dustin Johnson cashed in on that $35 million yeah, purse. But it was all about the Live WAGS because you had Paulina and Jenna, and of course they were dressed to the nines. I'm talking strapless dresses, yeah. boots, hair done, makeup done, yeah. everything hair did, done. Nails did, That's, everything did. That is the song I was thinking of. This is how this is why we're, we're good fancy. together. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. I mean it's it's hot. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to defect and go to live. And when it comes to watching and viewership, I would rather watch live and, and be a part of one of those events because if you look at the, the videos and the images from the party, Snoop Dogg's out there. Purple LED lights, hip hop music. So let's skip over because there was a fight, Jake Paul and Anderson Silva, mm -hmm. but no one's talking about that fight. They're talking about a special ring girl. Oh yeah, that ring girl that had all eyes on her was Courtney Keller. She is an LA-based model who recently moved to New York because she is engaged to Nick Center, Isaiah Hartenstein. Olivia Copo and Christian McCaffrey are living their best lives out in the Bay Area. That is the truth. They are living their best yeah. lives because they're fitting just nicely there, yeah. all right? See. With that win over the Rams yeah. and Olivia Copo had a private suite at yeah. SoFi Stadium, was popping bottles of champagne, oh, no, no. and of course shared a sweet moment on the sidelines Absolutely. with Christian McCaffrey there and posted a sweet video as we know that she loves to do. Yeah, because Christian McCaffrey threw a touchdown, ran for a touchdown, and called a touchdown. First NFL player to do that since little Danny and Tomlinson way, way back. But you know, that picture and that video that they posted where they're kissing, you remember the term by Felicia? Mm -hmm. That was by Baker, oh. left Baker up in Carolina. Let's get into did you see this? Because there's a theory out about this whole Tom Brady, Giselle breakup. There's a theory in league circles, and I think I'm couching it properly, that the issues with Tom Brady and his wife blew up when the league announced the punishment of the Dolphins because of the flirtation with Brady. Florio says that Giselle didn't know about this and she was really mad. Well, you know what, Jenna? She needs to chill out there. Why? Because he didn't do anything wrong. Usually when a man gets in trouble, it's because he was flirting in the DMs or some girl was in the club trying to holler at him. It was the Miami Dolphins in his DMs. That's not a bad thing. It is amicable, he says, and he also said that he just wants to focus on football, winning games, and his family. That's TV Tom talk. That's TV Tom talk. Whatever. Get him a couple shots, maybe even a Jaeger bomb. Then I want to see how he really feels about it. Time to move on. <laughs> yeah, let's get up out of here. That's another edition of Who's Scoring. She's Jenna Limoncelli. I'm Brandon London.